<laughs> nice. I've hit the button, which means we're going to go live, I think, in about three, two, one, somewhere around now. Here it is. People are already starting to comment, so that means we are now live and up and running. Okay. Good morning, gang. Good morning, gang. <laughs> so, you heard me chatting a moment there. I'm not alone here today. As threatened, what's the word? As promised, as threatened, <laughs> we have a guest here today, a young lady from the Netherlands. Yes. Yes. So, so hello, hello. And you're still not visible yet, okay. ma'am. I've got to, we start with the outside <laughs> view here. We we have a, a this scene of a saksa which we start with every day, and uh, it's a gray sure. gray day here today. So, what do you think? We're going to get tons of rain? I don't know. Were you Maybe. in Tokyo on Saturday, or were you still out in? No, I was still out in. You're in, still in the uh, yeah. prefecture. But yeah. there were some crazy rains there as well. I guess so. Yeah. Well, on Saturday we had the, one of the craziest rains I have ever seen. I've been in really? this country now for nearly forty years. And the rain on Saturday, I have never, ever seen that it bad? like this. Yeah. It was that bad. What we've had recently is a typical summer rain. It's really, really hot, maybe blue sky, patch cloud, then all of a sudden a yeah. monsoon type stuff. You must have seen that in Yamanasi. Yeah. And then five minutes later, it's gone. So we tell people who come in the gate, just, just wait five minutes. Yeah. And so it's no, no, I can't wait. They run out into the rain. <laughs> just wait five minutes and They're you're They're going to be safe. soaked also because so, it's so much water coming it's down. So exactly. So, so literally like standing underneath the shower. <laughs> yeah. So we always tell people, just wait five minutes. <laughs> so on Saturday, this happened. There's a guy here he'd been browsing. He had no umbrella with him. And this started. And I said to wait five minutes. And it was over a half an hour nonstop. Ooh. And he's like, you know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. And I kept saying, saying, just give me a couple more minutes. And my voice is getting more and more and more desperate. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've never seen it go on that long, that long in an yeah. unbroken, total, absolute monsoon. But like, is it because they also speak of rain uh, season? Well, this is different. Like, rainy season, so that's before the yeah. summertime. And that's, then it keeps on raining, right? Yes, or, you can have yeah. rainy season, of course, get drip, but it, that's a light, misty drizzle oh, or there's water in the air. I, well, no. I beg to differ. <laughs> I begged from Onomichi to, to Shikoku on the on the Shimano Kaido, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I had one during the rainy season. Yes, during rain season, mm -hmm. and I started at nine and I finished at one, and it, and it did rained not all stop. day. Okay, okay. No. I don't think I was as wet okay, as I wasn't ever trying to before. Say it wasn't raining in rainy season. <laughs> what I meant was these summer rains, the thunderstorm type. They're not typical of the yeah, rainy yeah, season. The rainy yeah. season is a long drizzling exactly, gray days, yeah, and you never yeah. see the sun for maybe mm. a week or something. Okay, gang, I'm having a nice chat with this lady. Yes. You know, I know your first name, but I have to really, I don't. You, you don't this know is Afke-san, Afke but I don't remember. Or I must Itzma. Be, oh, that's right. Yes. I must have known because we Afke were corresponding. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, good. I'm Very sorry, Dutch. Yeah, it's difficult for me to pronounce, so this is... It's okay. Itzma. Afke Itzma. So Afke is your first name, of course, Yes. Right? Yeah, of course, yeah. that's what I thought. Didn't it's a very name? Dutch name. I mean, really, it's from yes, the Fri Frisian name, from the north of the Netherlands. Really? really yeah, both really. names. All so names in good. Holland that end with ma are from the north specifically. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what language then is the home language in that area? Is this part of the, the Flanders? So, well, I mean, Dutch is of course the main language in the whole country, mm -hmm. but there's actually also the language of Frisia, Frisian, Frisian. and uh, it's a language on its own. Really, I, I don't speak it. My father speaks it. Okay. Uh, uh, I can understand it, although sometimes it's difficult. Actually, it's really a language. Okay, am I confused? Yeah. This is the Flemish thing, or this is nothing? No, no, something that. else. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. it's the north. Flemish okay. is south. Okay. Is Belgium? So, yeah, yeah. Frisian and Flemish. I'm getting confused. You know, I'm sorry. I might but uh, no, I not a lot of people know about the Frisian, so. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I've heard the word, but I don't know. They have their own uh, anthem and their own. Uh, yeah, is this one of those Flag. situations where part of the country is eventually going to try and break away and be a separate country? I mean, country? I don't. Uh, kind of uh, I mean, maybe there are some people, but I, I, I don't know them. <laughs> there are not many. So not any. Not, not, not anymore. No, no. So you see yourself as a Dutch person? Yeah, because I was also I wasn't born there. Also, so oh, my okay. my my uh, father's family is from there, but I wasn't born in. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna. It's impolite. You know, I'm talking it's to you. Okay. Yeah, no, but no, I also do, I have course. to look at this yeah, to yeah, see check. what's going on yeah, with questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the actually Afghanistan hasn't actually seen any of these streams before. I didn't realize that. I invited her to come in, assuming she <laughs> knew what bit, was going on. Yeah. And it turns out she's never seen them. Doesn't know what's going on, or Oops. doesn't know the culture. Or whatever. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to see the I'm talking to her now. Rising. I've got to start checking the stream. But when you're talking to somebody, he keeps looking away. Yeah, yeah. So please excuse me. I understand. Me. <laughs> Very good. So, so, I'm already bullying you, they say. Yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Sorry, <laughs> so. 
<laughs> okay, yep. why is this lady here today? Of course, because there's a woodblock print connection. Of course, mm -hmm. has to be, has to be, has to be. Although, I don't know how much, how much to explain to the background. You've been here for the past few weeks at the Me Lab. Yeah, residency. Thing. Residency yeah. is what we're yeah. calling it, residency. How long has that been going on for? Decades to show, actually. Uh, I think 1992 or something, something like they started. It's, it's, a decades. it's a thing that yeah. I don't even know the, the ultimate history. There's a residency that's held out in Yamanashi Prefecture. Yeah. To show, what's the town name? Where was it? Kabuchiko. Uh, at Kawaguchiko, yeah. near the lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very close to the lake. Yeah. I, I have no idea the origins of it, but it's a place where foreigners or people, mm -hmm. foreign people, either with no experience at all for the beginner courses, mm -hmm. or people who have had some experience at making wood prints for some of the more advanced yeah. courses, yeah. can spend a few weeks, two weeks, three weeks? Five, five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah, it's Are a they long all time. that long? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do I know about this? You're the one who should yeah. explain what's yeah. going on. And it's, a, it's, a, it's not a school. There's no curriculum every day, mm. 9 to 5, 9 to 5, no. whatever. It's an open no. table. So you do your... Yeah. Well, you, you explain. Yeah. You explain. Well, it's, it started in uh, 1992. I'm, I have to say... Uh, the yeah, I don't know. The, the history is blurry for me. Uh, to, yeah, 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 yeah. And it started in Nagasaki Art Park on uh, house, a small island north of Shikoku between... Na Nagasau Nagasawa, Nagasawa Art Sorry. Park. Sorry, Nagasawa Art Park is what the original... Um, yeah residency was mm -hmm. and it was created to um, to get more foreigners interested also in, in uh, Japanese Mokohanga. Yeah. 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 yeah because yeah. a lot of the craftsmen and a lot of the mm -hmm. crafts were mm -hmm. as you know also uh, uh, in danger of getting lost paper makers especially mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. wanted to create an interest also in this in this uh, in this technique okay so uh, as far as I understand it it's nothing to it. the people who are going there they're not going to train to be a professional carver well it started printers. out pretty much like not really professional printers but really uh, training to uh, train craftsmen artists. Yeah, no artists, artists really to 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 be interested in these materials so it's mm. not mm. no it's not to make craftsmen that's like, right you're the target for this kind of yeah thing, right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah you know, exactly so you want yeah. to make your own pictures you know yeah. it's so saku type artists who want to make their own pictures exactly. using the Japanese so that kind, kind of style okay. yeah 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 okay. Yeah, so and that it it moved to uh, Kabuchiko, and they have a beautiful location. You mm. see Mount Fuji mm. uh, in the distance. Yeah, we from see the, the Instagram studio. pictures from everybody every yeah. year. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's so, wonderful. So, 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 so. Yeah, but it's so isolated. What what do you do about food and stuff like that? I mean, how does it work? I mean, they have supermarkets. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah last I place near food. my house. There's no supermarket where I live, and I'm in really? Tokyo. So yeah. I'm it's so true. Here, there are not so many no. supermarkets. So there is access. You do your yeah. own cooking then, or is it all a group? I mean, you uh, you can get order lunch boxes, and there's a cook, uh, a private cook. If there's enough people signing up for dinner, uh, someone cooks. Uh, but I actually found it really cool to uh, go to the supermarkets and just try out all the things that are there because mm -hmm. uh, before I was in staying in hostels and I didn't have a kitchen. Mm -hmm. There's a big kitchen there, so you can. So you prepare your own food. Yeah, yeah, I prepared my own food. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. then the printmaking. You're there for five weeks. How yeah. is it structured? What's the deal? What do you do? Are there teachers? Are there, is yeah. there a curriculum? How yeah. does it work? You start out, there's two days, like kind of introduction, and you can ask some questions already you have and uh, talk about projects you want to uh, undertake or prints you want to make. This school, you were in the beginner's course? You were in the no, middle, I was in the advanced course. Okay, so you've already brought prints that you've made. Actually, I didn't brought prints because I packed really lightly because I was traveling so much beforehand. <laughs> So, uh, but you could show pictures of the prints you mm. made mm. and um, yeah, talk about what you want to do, like techniques you might want to learn, uh, techniques you're struggling with or uh, mm. prints maybe. I had some example prints of Suzaka Hanga and Shinhanga artists that I really oh, liked. I wanted to learn more about. Yeah, yeah, and I wanted to know like what kind of paper did they use or like what kind of techniques are these and uh, is it possible to do or... So you could talk about that, and then uh, that was two days, and he showed some things already, like sharpening tools and stuff. Who, 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 are, now? who are the people? Um, so these are experts on the, uh, 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 this is Soyama-san, uh, I don't know his first name, Soyama, I, <laughs> I can check it later, mm -hmm. I can. Um, 
uh, these, Chihiro Taki. So these teachers are also resident there? I mean, how does this work? No, they live in Tokyo, so they specially come to the residency to, to teach on a for a few days. Basis, no, for the, so it starts with two days, and then you have two weeks where you walk on, work on your own, on your projects, carved. So the teacher, um, the group of instructors comes up for a couple of days. Exactly. We have all these sessions, and then yeah. they get out of the way, and you work, you work for again. a couple of weeks. Yeah, so yeah. and you run into trouble, and you uh, print, and you and you collect deal, talk questions. with each other, of course. You talk you with know, each other, yeah, yeah. and then uh, you collect all the questions you have, and after uh, the period of working, there's again uh, professional session. printers coming, another session, okay. and then talking okay. about what you did, and what went right, and advice on paper. Or, so for most yeah. of those two weeks, you guys, a bunch, bunch of students there, you're in this, this Sitting group Sitting there. Rooms, yeah. And you're flying on your own. Solo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, I wish I had someone there also during these yeah, moments. Yeah. Because you, you sometimes run into trouble, of course, that you wonder, mm. like, how... Um, is that the way they do, do for the this? beginners as well? They, they wouldn't no. leave the beginners no, 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 alone no. for a couple no, of weeks, no, sure. No, okay. no, so no so there's the always someone so there. So they know then. what they're doing already. Yeah, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's only the advanced course that they right. do this. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. many levels do they have? Uh, we've been saying Three, beginners Three, I think. Okay. They so still have an upper advanced also. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what's the if there's a big difference in the um, in how they approach it from mm. the schedule, from mm. the mm. advanced. Is this a super expensive thing to take part in? It's or? quite expensive. So it's around uh, 3,000 euros. Uh, I don't know what's it in dollars. A bit more in dollars. I think that's like... Mm. Three thousand three hundred dollars or something. I and think. that's permission to go there then. But your food and stuff, you're on your own. Food, for food. you have to, yeah, yeah. Okay. But you get wood blocks. Uh, you can use all the materials that are there. There's paper you can use. Um, oh, so that feel includes pigments. All you can eat, wood blocks and paper. Sure. Then. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can within uh, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You order the blocks in advance, so you have to think about the projects you want to make and those blocks you get. And if so you need more so during the. So uh, but they still have some things lying around, so if you... And what about tools? You're expected to bring your own tools? Yeah, in the advanced course they ad advise you to bring your own tools. They have some, they have brushes and they have barons, but they're more student quality, the ones they have lying there. So, like, beginner quality. Uh, so if you want to, yeah, if you, you know, at advanced, most of the people know how they print and what they need, so... How many students were there? Uh, six, yeah. Is that is that a normal complement? Uh, yeah, I think the max is seven. That they can have, okay. yeah, yeah. But um, and do they need to like they need to get five or six people? If only one or two people sign up, they don't do it. What's the? I think so, but I'm not sure. But I think they never have trouble filling okay. the filling. And the how course. long in advance did you have to sign up? For uh, I think they have like a call in April uh, for like the year after. Uh, so, but actually, I sent in uh, an email in. September last year. Last Be year meaning 2022. So 2020, April 2022, it was the call for 2023. This one that you've just done. Yeah, past. yeah, exactly. But I... And you were late. I was late in September. I thought like, oh, I want to go to Japan <laughs> next so year. So next year's might already be full or it Yeah, might be but I would still. say I if know. you're interested, send them an email because um, really it's... it's. Uh, okay, actually good. The mods are posting links to this as ah, we were cool. talking. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm ignoring this uh, the, the chats a little bit, but the, they're filling in stuff that we haven't answered. Ah, they're good. posting links. Yeah, yeah. nice. That's this nice. is cool. Thank you again. Thanks yeah, write much. them an email because sometimes even if the call... That's what I did. Sometimes the call is closed but there's always mm. people or people drop out or, drop something, out like or yeah. something happening and you can be put on the list maybe or yeah. yeah okay so it's actually kind of expensive you got to get your way to japan yeah you've got to pay this fee but then while you're there of course accommodation is included you're, yeah. you're, you're there as a resident yeah okay yeah you had to pay the train you have to get there it's all your own expenses. yeah exactly okay. yeah okay. yeah yeah well, for five weeks three three thousand euros for five weeks i mean you'd pay a lot more than that for hotels if you're staying in japan of course yeah so yeah. So look at it. Looked at it on that point of view. Exactly. It's you get the expertise. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get the expertise to to learn more, mm -hmm. and like I said, the materials and the space. The studio is really great. There's like you don't have anything wanting there. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's really really cool. The yeah. people who were doing it. I'd be careful what you have to say. Or whatever. Were they people really like you? Like, was it five European women? The same no, I, I don't know. Actually, but it was a, a guy from Argentina, an uh, Indian woman, um, a Malaysian, Chile, um, Spain, 
Uh, really? So a really glo global so mix? I mean, yeah, have they global picked mix. this or just that's who signed up? That's or? what signs up. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really cool. international. Uh, and are these people, are any of them like already printmakers? They've, they've done the gallery shows, they make a living as printmakers, they're coming to Yeah, it's to very diverse. More. You know, some have... hobbyists or... I mean, what? No, I think you have to be at least a like professional, aspire to be a, a living of your work or be so somewhat professional, but mm -hmm. of course arts is always very difficult to live mm -hmm. off. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. some are teachers on the side or uh, uh, have have other jobs uh, on the okay. side. So this uh, is happening in the summer, so it could be people who are like... No, all year long. So they have five programs in total. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I think Three beginner courses, one advanced and one oh, upper advanced. Yeah, it must have really come back together. I just meant the lady who used to run it, she actually Kiko, passed uh, away. The yeah, show. And this, yeah. this, I got the impression from different people this program nearly actually collapsed. Mm -hmm. It was on its last legs. I can imagine, yeah. But now yeah. it's really come back. Then. You say five? They're moving to AGZN actually next year. I haven't mentioned this yet, but they moved to AGZN uh, in November. Uh, the Fukui Prefecture? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, the whole thing is permanently moving, or just yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are going to work together with paper makers. I think in uh, there was also a paper maker coming now to check uh -huh, uh -huh. our works and and uh, uh, looked at what we did. Uh -huh. And they are uh -huh. moving there. I think they're gonna so with the include the paper workshop. making. Uh, okay, I'm no, I know nothing about it. Okay, I don't. I don't know the. Exact anyway, it's flourishing. It's called yeah, it's yeah, 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 interesting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, the sort of impression I had X years back was that this thing had been a nice thing in the past, mm. but it was on its last legs. And mm. it was down. I'm really happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. The the environment you're talking about with these so sacrotype printmakers, modern printmakers, it really doesn't overlap much with what we do here at Mokwan. Yeah, I mean, no, we're just yeah, a, I can a imagine. Classic traditional studio. So we ourselves don't have any overlap with with this group of people. Yeah, much yeah. At all. But so you said some of your printers. Uh, also teach. Well, at, the, the, uh, the Mabi san the guy who printed the yeah, Hasri print you were looking yeah, at, he yeah. was one of the instructors at Mi Lab if, when we go back 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. He was ah, one of the, okay, okay. He was a hired ago. gun, he was a professional yeah, printer yeah. here who was hired to go over there to yeah. be an instructor or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all I know about yeah, 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 yeah. But the people who are the instructors now then, are these working soul cycle artists or are these yeah. craftsmen? No, they the are more artists. I didn't at all, so. Yeah, yeah. I thought. I think like when the program originally started out, there were more craftsmen, uh, but I think today it's more uh, it's more artists themselves. So uh, Chihiro Taki, for example, and Michiko Hamada, two two artists of my okay. age. Okay. Uh, who who work in this technique? And Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I guess it makes sense then. Who studied it at like university? You, also. Although you need technical instruction here, you're not on a career path that is going to turn you into an ukiyo-e hairlines carving no. carver. No. Although there's some who had the ambitions <laughs> that they wanted to carve that kind of hairs, uh, but <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I rather not. <laughs> I know whether. Okay, so it makes more sense yeah. to have instructors who are more already they know the overall craft then, from the design concept, what makes sense to design, how these things work yeah. on the wood block and stuff like that. Exactly. Rather yeah. than just a craftsman who can print what you give him, but who may not be able to give you much advice on how you should be laying out your design and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Although in this case, I think they don't even give that much advice, like on laying out, laying out your designs and stuff. It's it's pretty much on the technical side still of it, but. Um, uh, I mean, it's also still focused, I think, more maybe on techniques that are maybe implemented by Susako Hanga artists mm, more often, mm, like mm, shadow mm, carving mm, or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, and what kind of papers that would fit that yeah. type of okay. printing, for example. During yeah. five weeks, how many did you make? You made prints there, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't mean how many, how many designs, did you one print or two? I or? made three designs. Three designs? Yeah. In five yeah. weeks, three yeah, designs. Yeah, but I was quite, uh, I was I was working around the clock. <laughs> so it was not. What do you mean around the clock? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I slept. No, no, no. And we did other stuff also. Show's prints, show's yeah, prints, yeah, of course, yeah. of course. Uh, How are we going to do this? We've got it. How do you, which, which orientation? This is the bottom, the, 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 the bottom, that's the top. That's the bottom, so. this is the top. Okay, well that's, we're going to be looking at yeah, this yeah, camera, yeah. so yeah. I'm going to zoom out. This is a big print. Yes. You made three prints of this kind of scale and scope in five weeks? Uh, two of these and one bigger. <laughs> How many copies, but you didn't make like a hundred copies. No, copies no, no, no. So, so. Uh, like, I want to print the edition still. Uh, I made uh, four uh, like good proofs on paper I bought at Osuwashi. 
here from HSN. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's quite fluffy paper. Yeah. I never printed on 100%. Uh, although I, no, I had something 100% coarser from... soft paper. This is expensive paper. Shall yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. But expensive. I wanted to try out so. the good paper. Yeah. It's, if I'm guessing, this is a, it's a Hosho type paper, but it mm. has at least 50% pulp inside. I it does? Oh, it should be 100% Kozo. Really? That's what's set it, on the... Uh, <laughs> that's it, what's it, set on the, on the ticket. It feels and so the price. soft. It's fluffy, it right? It's so soft and fluffy, which is normally a mark of, of having quite a large mix of really? pulp inside. Okay, okay. And also the top surface is extremely dressed very smoothly. Yeah. Yeah, which is another symptom. Or it's sign almost like butter when you so print it, also. Okay, well, I, okay. Well, it seems like but that kind of paper to me. If Ozuwashi says it's hundred percent, I'm. What do you think? If you look at uh, what, what are you looking at when you look um, against the light? Let me find another piece of paper at You see the long fibers. You yes, mean? absolutely. You yeah. can see the fiber mix, and you can you can see actually fibers by fibers by fibers. Yeah, yeah. And this one we can't even see individual fibers, but this thing is so thick. It's we maybe so. Wouldn't expect yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But it has the single tone density. I mean, they're clear there are fibers in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm mistaken, and simply the feeling of being so soft and fluffy comes from the fact that it's just so thick. It's thick so thick, soft. the paper, yeah. And the sizing, too, is very yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah. It embossed really, really easy. Because it's so thick, my yeah, God, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. So, okay. Which was kind of cool, because I can show later in the next print, but... This is uh, a lot of work, you know. Mm, a lot of work. Five, yeah. five plates, mm -hmm. uh, ten colors. Five plates, ten colors. So about, that means you've got more than one color separated on the same block, or you're printing the same thing in two different ways. What do you mean? Uh, no, just that's only colors. It was about thirteen passes, I think, thirteen mean, to fourteen. You, I'm you said five plates, so you're talking about five, five pieces wood blocks. of wood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there were separate. There were sometimes more colors. Like for example, these patches, these these dark gray mm -hmm. patches, were on the same block, I think, as the. Yeah, the blocks are still there. I thought of maybe bringing them, but <laughs> to show. But the the dark gray was on the same block as the okay, as so the bra dark okay, brown, so for example. Two, two color areas on the same physical yeah, face. So exactly. they're separated far enough that you can print them yeah. separately. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, as a, I don't care about like how many actual pieces of wood there are because we can never tell how many colors there yeah. are. Yeah. For me, the key question would be how many impressions. Yeah. How many yeah, passes yeah, yeah. this? I think it was around thirteen to fourteen. Okay, and yeah. some of them would be separate colors, and some would be the same color, maybe printed twice or with a gradation. Exactly, yeah, with the like gradations, yeah. yeah, yeah, like the ears, for example. Uh, it did it small. come out, how closely did it come out compared to the original image you had before you actually started? Uh, pretty close, I would say. Mm -hmm. I, I used an iPad drawing mm -hmm. as a... Uh, as I can show the iPad drawing, do you want to see it? No, the reason I asked the question is, um, it's sort of a li little bit dangerous question. Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> but no, no, yeah, yeah, ask, ask. The, what say. I was trying to get at is what the answer that I would want to hear from, from any printmaker is, I had this idea, I had the color sketch, and I knew what I was doing, yeah. and it came out exactly like I really got to the end. Because what I want to hear is that somebody had so much skill and control yeah. that when they had an idea of how to do something, they were able to do it. Mm -hmm. This is the, this mm -hmm. is the answer I'm yeah, fishing yeah, 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 for. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the answer that Dave wouldn't want to hear is to say, <laughs> Oh, I got so many surprises along the way. The wood, <laughs> the wood started to speak to me and it came out totally different. And if that's what you'd said, I would have been quiet and we would have a happy conversation, but I would have thought, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not I'm, interesting. I'm, I mean, these people know me, so it's okay. You know, I'm, obviously, I'm the ultimate control freak here, which is yeah. why I run the kind of workshop I yeah. do. Yeah, 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 so yeah. it pushes my buttons when somebody has enough control over the tools and materials to make what to they realize. want to make. That's yeah, all yeah, I'm yeah. getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. If the conversation is starting to I'm away, glad. I would have changed the topic. I'm still allowed to somewhere. sit here. <laughs> you would have started about the weather again. <laughs> the thing is, these, these people all know me so well that they like they know what I'm thinking. Dave, Dave thinks this is no good, or Dave thinks this is nice, or whatever. Everybody knows what I'm trying yeah, to think yeah, about yeah. this year. <laughs> no, it's to we all know it's totally different from the kind of work I do here. But mm. of course, I, I'm. 
my whole history is showing as much information as we possibly can about all of these things and letting people from all over the world take what See, they want of yeah, this information yeah, yeah. and make the kind of prints. Yeah, yeah. And none of the visitors here make prints that I would have made, but that's not the point. No, the point yeah, is it's to vary all the possibilities of these techniques, this right? Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So anything I say about what happened here has nothing to do with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So. But yeah, I'm happy to hear that it came out kind of the way you wanted it. Yeah, Because yeah, that's, yeah. that's what pushes mm, buttons. Mm. So what's next? Now you're going to go home there, you got time, get some paper, you're going to make an actual edition, you're going to number these things, I guess, are you? Yeah, yeah, yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Said, she says, of course, and we, we don't have a numbered print in this building, but of course. You don't? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, well, we okay, do you don't do that at all. But I understand. Yeah, different, yeah. Different world with this. Yeah. And then you're going to move on to something else? Probably, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. But okay, then how does a Sosaku designer and worker like yourself figure one thing? You've made your edition. You're going to go home and you're going to make 10 or 20 or 30 or... or now nah, maybe 10 or something. Maybe 10, maybe, okay. maybe 10 like to 10. 20, yeah. And people like it and the 10 prints sell, you know, in the gallery or whatever. And then you get a request and say, oh, that cat print, Anna, can I have one of those? And you at that point have to tell them, no, I'm sorry, they're all, you know, they're, they're gone. Yeah. Isn't... <laughs> to me, where I come from, is you know we, you know what we do, we yeah, it's, more. We yeah, more. it's completely different. And you've, you in your own mind, you've made that decision by yeah. putting the numbers on. There will be this, and do you actually physically destroy the blocks? Then what do you do? I actually, I don't. Sometimes I destroy them, yeah, but I, I, I don't print them. Just for me, there's mm. no. Uh, but is there sort of a legal aspect? You, you've made a legal no, document. There's only going to be ten I copies. I thought so. we were supposed to soup. Yeah, I guess so, but I mean, that's so, uh, I don't know if I'm that radical. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> wait, 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 no. I mean, not, I don't, not I don't just don't print. Not radical. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, <laughs> maybe you should, but I, I don't know. I, I, most of the time I throw them out after a while and, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. so somebody else could print from them. Uh, well, mm, okay, yeah. it's all right. We're just if they fish, around if they fish, around, uh, fish around in the in the garbage, <laughs> uh, uh, they could. Yes, yeah. But I don't print more. I, I uh, yeah. I also this, like to make. This new. was hard work to show. This paper is so thick. It was hard printing. Yeah. So thick. What kind of? Yeah. Do you have a baron that's strong enough for paper like I this? I have a Murasaki baron, strong. The strong, strong one, Murasaki okay. baron. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then a lot of pressure. Yeah. yeah. And you obviously got the paper moist and very very soft and, and mm. gentle, yeah, so. yeah, yeah 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 i would for me to, to this paper is really 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 thick mm. there's a softness to it which means it's doable but if i sat down to print a sheet of paper this big with a background color that's this thick i would be thinking oh boy oh boy oh boy. yeah i mean for I mean, yeah for i mean yeah i can paper. imagine yeah i'm interested in in trying more papers because uh this was my first like really Kozo Japanese mm. handmade paper, mm. Mm. but uh, and you showed me some paper when I was here the first week. You showed me the paper you print on, like the hmm. I'd the never our, felt our, it. Our typical mm. Iwano style. Exactly, paper. yeah, so, so. and that's also quite quite thick compared to what I print on. Really? Yeah, I used Avagami before. I used Avagami. I mean, this is thin. We're using quite yeah, thin. Yeah, but it's yeah. But it's so strong. So strong. Yeah. Okay, but when you printed yeah. some of these, now they're they're quite what would be called gomazuri texture. Mm -hmm, yeah. So that doesn't need full body grain. No, grind, exactly. Grind. But yeah. the background color you've printed is slight yellow. That must be background under most of this image yeah. for the show. True. That's, that, did that come first? Because that's yeah. hard work. Yeah. That would have been the It was the first the color. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And I printed the light gray mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. But already started also on the cat with some shades. Cats, why cats? Well, it started a little bit because of this project with you with cats, actually. <laughs> it was like, now we're getting a painful topic. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I was like thinking, how, when, at what point do we get to this conversation? <laughs> okay, let's, well, let's, it's okay, can I interrupt this? Yes, yeah, sure, interrupt no, this of course. <laughs> we, I, I'm going to get coffee and then I come back. <laughs> Dave can talk to tell the story. <laughs> The reason this lady is here is because we know each other from my own Eight Views of Cats project, which is now three years ago, four years ago, I have no idea. I, I assume most people know going on. I think. I, it's still yeah. going on, three prints are published, one is test printing, four are still to go. 
I put up the website announcing eight views of cats send in your designs. And among the early, early, you must have been really right near the beginning, I think, or the first few weeks, whatever. This lady sent in a design for the night rain thing. And when I saw it, it was one of the earliest ones that grabbed my attention. I probably wrote back to you that same day, mm. and I made the offer, can we give you the, the first donation here, payment, can you work this up? Because this looks like it might be really suitable for the series. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it here, I've got it ready. Oh, you got it. I've got it, I'm going to show people here, there it is. There's, this oh, is yeah, the, the pencil good. sketch. Yeah. The pencil. Yeah, yeah. And if I remember right, you told me this is from your window. This is a real Yeah, that was from, real my, uh, from my uh, bedroom window, yeah. <clears throat> and is it real? I mean, the cat was there, and the rain was there, and the light was there. How much of this? So, uh, the cat oh. is fictional, but all the other parts okay, is okay. is real. Yeah. And yeah. and I mean, it's it's kind of fictional, but you you know you see you've mm. seen cats mm. run around mm. in rain, right? When well, the, when the when the rain breaks out, like you described here in Tokyo, you sometimes yes. see these cats go like. Whoosh, okay, like relax, relax. I wasn't getting on it because it no, wasn't no, a real no, scene. No, 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 no. But course, and this, course. I just described how I how I work. Like yeah. these things, I. Are stored somewhere mm. Mm. and they and then they come together mm. yeah yeah okay. anyway I saw this it was in the original group and at that time I was I was getting ready for the first three there was the evening night snow evening rain or evening rain night snow whatever whatever it is mm -hmm. and I saw this yeah. and it wasn't just you I would have written to three people maybe I'd have to three or four people for the night rain yeah, print. yeah. and I, I was a bit I did something a bit silly I was really excited. This is super cool. Wow, I'm excited about this. Can you, and what did I pay? I think, was it $100, $200 or something? I'm not sure anymore. Normal. I yeah. didn't want to do the free thing. Work a bit more and it maybe will choose you. Mm -hmm. I wanted to put some money on the table showing that we weren't going to do the free artist stuff yeah, that's, you know, that's for, nice. for your own promotion. Yeah, yeah. So we put a little bit of money on the table. It wasn't much, like a couple hundred dollars or something. I, I, said. Yeah, yeah. And I said, work it up, ready for the next level, for, like, for the next round of choosing. <laughs> But with all the people, I was really, really enthusiastic. And not just you, the other people thought, oh my God, I've been chosen yeah, for yeah, this. Yeah. You know, <laughs> The people know now, they've seen the other Eve Night Rain, the bonsai prints, so that we know where the story's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't end up choosing yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, so. yeah, I know. So, then worked it up. Uh, was this in Photoshop, or what are you doing at this point? I this painted is everything uh, by hand. I painted with brush. Okay, so you know, this wasn't a layered Photoshop file you sent me? I can't and then I point. scanned everything. And I layered everything in Photoshop oh, so okay. it would align and work right. out. And that yeah, must be yeah. what you sent me then. And that's what you sent. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And now, and when I saw this, I really got excited. I thought, this is a dynamic, interesting print. <laughs> it hits all my buttons. It's got a really focus of light. We can tell where the mm -hmm. light's coming from. It had really wonderful extremes of contrast. We can make stuff, re the, the, there's no contrast really in this one. You've got light and dark, but this isn't a print where anybody would say, we, we've got a really high level of, mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm. uh, of dynamic dynamic gain, dynamic contrast here. Mm -hmm. But this one really, really does. It goes from jet black to bright white, and, and you know, it's got this huge. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I got really excited. Okay, I think we're going to go up, you know, I, maybe I even said, just whatever, like, I'll, I'll call you real soon or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and then the other one came in, the bonsai print, and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do here? <laughs> At that point, I started thinking, maybe this eight views of cats is going to go round to the eight views of cats and then start again and do eight more <laughs> at the other end of it and come round. Anyway, long story short, I didn't pick this one. I had to write Afke san. And I, I think, actually, you were, you were, I don't know if you angry at me. You're disappointed for sure. I was, yeah, yeah. Maybe even a bit angry. I don't know. I no, didn't. I wasn't angry, but disappointed. But I think it was more also about uh, the, the print was too complicated, right? To, okay, to that's carve. what I tried to. Yeah, yeah. There's two reasons. The, I did like the bonsai print. It is a nice design and mm, it works, mm. it fits in. But it's I nice also design. ran into technical problems with this one. I don't know, we've got it here on the screen. They can see it. Mm. You know how it works. There's many different levels. There's black, there's green, exactly. there's dark green, there's gray or whatever. And on top of these, we have the white streaks of the rain. Mm. And the way we do this, the white streaks are the blank paper. We couldn't take a dark print. We couldn't say, take a thing like this and print white streaks across cool. this cap. Yeah. If you want a white streak across this cat, if we want to do the same thing, then the white streak has to come out of that. Well, they can't see this on this. Let me poke. If we were trying to put white streaks across this, the white streak has to come out of the background yellow, out of the light blue, out of the gray, out of the orange, out of this. The white streak has to come out of every one of those blocks, and they've all got to yeah, line up exactly. with absolute millimeter yeah, precision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's got to be all over the I whole surface of this. <laughs> 
I thought I could do it too. When I looked at you know, when I looked at the first sketch, I knew where this was going to go. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. The Photoshop file came in. I said, I can do this. I, I can, I can do this. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm sorry. You know. So it's a bit of a Challenge. failure for me in that I saw that technical problem for our printers as being we were going to have to throw away an awful lot of prints mm. and there would be so many where the rain would almost line up mm. but it didn't quite line Wouldn't up work. and it would yeah. hurt your eye and I bailed I got scared and I bailed and the other print was also really really yeah. nice yeah and I knew that's classical it's also good. a choice I you have to make, make as a carver and it's yeah. a publisher so, yeah so I bailed I can't blame it on you your design came in as being too difficult for me to make <laughs> but that is part of it let that it be noted <laughs> If it was yeah. another genre, if the white was being applied on top, then it wouldn't matter at mm, all. Mm. But in our But do you field, do that? No. no. Right. In, in Kyoto, there is some... Some, some prints snowflakes. you sometimes so, so, see so, so, so. Yeah. Sometimes snowflakes are cut out, mm. and sometimes snowflakes are, are dabbed on yeah, top. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and very much in Kyoto type printing, it's much more common. Aha. And very much when it's a reproduction of a painting, yeah. rather than an original print. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. So, white can be applied but it, you'll never get contrast like that no it will be yeah blurry, it will be blurry, yeah. Girlfriend type of white, you know, so. yeah 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 so i'm sorry about the background there ma'am um, <laughs> it's okay you, no, no, no. <laughs> i wouldn't we wouldn't have been able to do it i'm sorry you know, so. it's a yeah. very it's a it would be beautiful but i wasn't uh, i couldn't pull it off yeah but it got me started on cats so that's how we got to the... <laughs> well, there's another idea then on the table, and maybe this is, is coming here in the chat. You know, okay, you're a printmaker, you've got the design. Yeah, I will. I think I will. I made a, Actually, I made an oil painting out of it, a big oil painting, 150. <laughs> so you can put white on top of dark in an oil painting? Uh, actually, no. I, I also use the canvas white to create... A, and then all the different layers, you edged up to these lines of rain, trying not to go over the line of rain? Really? Yeah, but I'm not so... As a painter, I'm not... Uh, I don't like things to be super realistic and super right. sharp, so, it so it's more expressive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. For yeah. us, it had to be razor sharp, or it just wouldn't... Work of course, sharp. yeah, it's a different kind yeah. of uh, technique, a different kind of printing, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Before we put this one aside and look at the next mm. one on top, can I ask a couple of technical yeah, things? Yeah, sure. Not everybody watching the stream today is a printmaker. There's people with casual interest. But yeah. there are a bunch of people out there who are actually printmakers. Yeah, yeah. And one question that we get frequently from yeah. the people who here are printmakers to me is the idea of itabokashi, mm -hmm. the block gradation. Mm -hmm. Now, along, you've got some of these blocks are carved very, very sharp. Yeah. It's a clean, sharp carving mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. some of these lines. But many of them, the edge of the it's wood very is soft. fuzzy. How did I do it? Sending paper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. It's not, a it's not I, cut. I, I, there's, no, there's no right or wrong. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're asking, how yeah. did you do this? Because I get asked about this all the time. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. none of that here. This is sharp carving. Exactly. You've carved this with a, with a yeah. normal carving knife. Yeah. And then, whatever, here we are. On, on. Yeah. I use a very, very strong sanding paper to make it soft. Okay, but that, that's an easy, quick answer, but that doesn't actually tell us all we need to know. Mm. When you knew that the, the, the line needed to be, where's my finger here? Soft. When you needed that the line needed to be soft and it needed to be there, mm -hmm. you first then, you've cut the line first with a normal In knife. In this so case, have yeah. Have you cut it sharply or did you cut a bevel line to start with and then sand it? I, yeah, the last, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, the last part. So I first cut it. In this case, I first cut it, and then I sanded it. Okay. Yeah, afterwards. So did, but did you cut? How far away did you cut it? Because you know when you're going to sand it, it's going to shrink and it's going to move yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. I cut it a bit, uh, a bit spacious, proud, a bit far. Yeah, a bit spacious. Okay. Yeah. So you've cut it the normal way with a, with a normal knife. The no, same actually, I, I did it with a U gouge. I I couch, I carve all my blocks with U gouges. Uh, uh, and 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 uh, MVs. MVs, yeah. She's looking in the box here. I'm like, ah, uh, they're not I, there. <laughs> I don't have any. Of I those feel like a complete uh, no, 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 no. Uh, barbarian. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> when, when I talk about you gouges here. <laughs> Do we need to draw a picture? I don't know what is going on. Do people know what you gouges are? I don't know. This, this is another. What kind of comments are we getting? Is it? Uh, They've everybody who's seen this. Please turn the mic a bit more towards you and less uh -huh. towards Afki. She's much louder than me. Okay, okay. Let's, do that. let's do that. 
Testing one, two, three. Okay, Testing. you're so you're so. Uh, what's the word? <laughs> and Dave tends to say different because of whatever. So you you I will tone my volume you've now. blown out the audio for the past forty five okay. minutes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and here is Vivian Sorry, Kay. people. So barbarians is the word. So 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 so. What we're getting on it here is that I myself I have traditional workers. You yeah. know, back in the old days, we have cutting knives with which we cut lines. We then have larger gouges. We do have a U. This is a U gouge, but it's very, very shallow. Mm -hmm. And we use this with a hammer for clearing out unneeded yeah. wood. We never draw with it. We never cut lines so that mm -hmm. we never, you know, it's for, for getting rid of exactly, wide open yeah. extra spaces. And we have, you know, whatever, even bigger ones for get rid of all your outside junk. And then the in-between, we have really only one type. We have the flat bullnose chisels. We call them ice ski. We have no other gouges. Now, in the modern world, in the modern field, you know, this is whatever, 100 plus years ago, there are V gouges and U gouges. And the U would be a, a, a much smaller U than, than the one we just showed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you, well, yeah, rather than me talk, you talk. Are you drawing with those gouges? What do you do? You, yeah. you tell the story. I can't so I draw the outlines with a, with a fine U gouge. Wait, 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 wait. You mean like as in this, this cap? Yeah, all of it. These gray lines? Yeah. So there's no, there's no cutting tool? No, no. I I'm starting. I tried out some cutting tools like that now, and I'm st I like it also. Uh, so I think I will will start using those as well. But up till now, I've been using only U gouges to clear, like to draw really? everything. Really? So so okay. I get these zigzag zigzag patterns. Yeah. That sort of really looks cool. Yeah. So you go soup, and with one stroke, yeah. you've pulled out. Exactly. You've pulled out a valley. That's very easy. For us, you... we need two strokes: one on the left cut, one on the right cut, exactly. other cut. So you scoop. And it's gone. Yeah. So this this white stripe on the cat here, this has been made with a single soup, 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 exactly. soup. Yeah, yeah. Okay, as someone who doesn't know how to do this, is mm. it really possible? Can you control both sides of that cut? How do you? Know? Yeah. What I mean is, if you had a V and you're going down the line, zzz, we've made a line with a V. But if you're turning and pushing in and you're making a, how can you control both the left side and the right side of that thing? I'm not a sarcastic question. No, it's yeah, a, yeah. It's a legitimate question. I mean, if, yeah, it's it's doing it when you do it really. Of course, it's different from um, when you carve with a knife. Mm -hmm. You, I can imagine you have even more exact. Exactly. But it's only a single line. We're cutting only one object at one time. Yeah. We're cutting down a line. Yeah. But if you've gone, if you've scooped out with a gouge. But it's you know if you tur turn it a little bit left or a little bit right, you know the the left side becomes more straight and the right side becomes more curved. But for every movement of that gouge does affect both sides. Yeah. So you're cut. You're cutting like sort of two lines at the same time. Yeah. What, yeah. What I'm getting, I'm speaking from ignorance here because I I've never done this. You know. Yeah, you have to pay attention <laughs> when you print. We all have to pay attention, but whatever. <laughs> no, not you. Yeah. I mean, when you carve, yeah. Yeah. you have to pay attention how you. So this is all done with gouges, then. Yeah. So you, for the going back to the itabokashi, mm. you, you've gouged it out sort of a little bit roughly and larger than you want, and you go back with sandpaper. Exactly. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Hey, I never would have expected that. Mm. Then for the big wide areas, yeah. are you just gouge, 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 or do you have bigger hammer tools to, to clear those out? Uh, no, I just gouge, yeah. yeah. Like the, the block to print the orange here. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a bigger piece of wood, but you've gouged around the orange, yeah. and then you gouge out like one or two or three fingers exactly. out, and there's wood is still available out uh, yeah. here. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. Really? So you have no hammers, you're doing everything by hand. Yeah, although some uh, artists now at the residency were using hammers, and this I really uh, uh, found interesting also to see. So Getting rid of a lot of wood quickly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty quick carving already, but that would even okay. speed up my... And then I guess we didn't mention back being the wood you're using, I guess, is almost certain. This is Sheena ply. This was Sheena, yeah. I never used it before, but yeah, yeah. What did you use before? Um, how is it called? Po popular? Popular? Oh. Solid or, or birch? Solid wood or plywood? No, plywood mostly, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. or sheen applies, pretty similar to birch ply. Exactly, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah. It's a bit uh, softer maybe, if I feel, and, and a bit less brittle. Birch uh, tends to, nah, be brittle a bit, break off sometimes okay. a little bit, yeah. It's nice for expressiveness, but it's for smaller details not so well suited. Yeah. But, so it looks pretty. Yeah. Okay. 
So I'll take out the next, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's another cat print. Another cat print. Are you trying to like tell me something? No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 I, I, I admire persistence. This is all. <laughs> so, no, it wasn't being no, sarcastic. No. Just cats. So, I mean, cats are a thing, aren't they? Cats are a thing. Is this a scene at the residency? Is this the building you guys were in? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. the kitchen actually, and a, a window screen screen uh, window that they. So had sketched there. from life. Yeah. Interesting. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Although how many get, instead, uh, instead of me making a fool of myself, how many blocks are we talking about here? How many or how many printing passes? Uh, it was about the same, 12, 12 to thirteen, I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. These are. Tell me about this. Yeah, I, I, I think it's this. Uh, the, the horizontal ones. I get that's the wood grain yeah, pattern showing yeah. through. I don't understand this. Is that? I think because uh, so these are still proof print, right? These are, they will. They're like a. I will print, reprint this and then it won't be, it shouldn't be there. But the paper is so soft. Oh, it's in the paper. Uh, that, uh, no, is that on the there's, board? I think there's an emboss. Is that a rain streak? No, it's not part of the picture. No, it's not part of the picture. Okay, you'd rather it wasn't there. Mm. And is it the wood or the paper? Uh, I th it's the paper. I think I, I had, like, I car, I cleared, there was like a part that I didn't print in this block. No. Uh, but I carved up, to, I think that's what happened, I carved up to here. And the line was oh, too the strong. embossed line. So it embossed. Oh, I get you. I yeah. get you. I get you. And so because the print. paper is so fluffy. I got you. And then it didn't so I got an effect I wanted was okay. like this also is embossed. Uh, I yeah, printed yeah, yeah, the yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I printed the red first. There's very much a three dimensional feeling here. Very yeah. much a three. I can feel bump 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 bump. Yeah. The paper is so thick. My God. Yeah. It's like butter when you print it. Wow, 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 wow. But okay. It, so what yeah. you're saying, to, to, to go back for the layman here, whatever, if, if I don't know, yeah, the block for this area, mm -hmm. if it had only been cleared maybe, for example, about this far, mm -hmm. imagine this, then there would be some unwanted wood here. And then the pigment gets rubbed on that area, but when you print the paper, the unwanted wood, the edge of it, would make a mark on the exactly. paper. And that yeah. may be what's happened here as for the block for this one. Yeah. And then once the paper gets that deep embossment in it, when you try then and print the next color, the paper's been damaged. Exactly. Okay, okay. Or it's it's lifted. And because it's a Gomazura, uh, I didn't print, print very, very hard. Lightly. I print very lightly. Yep. So, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I see. Uh, that's why it didn't see, pick up. I see. Some and of these some are of extremely these softly printed. Did mm. you, is this with a baron or with a sponge or something? Or? Uh, I actually used a plastic baron on that. But because very it's, lightly. And just to get, only yeah. like almost yeah. stroking. Skating like, across the surface. And that's it. Yeah. Once Yes, and yes, not yes. more. Okay. So, but I was interested. Actually, I was interested in this effect, and I used it here because I printed the red block first, uh, and the paper got embossed, and then I printed the Gomazura on top. But it only picked up in certain parts, so it gets this broken look. Okay. Um, okay. Yoshida's Yoshida's doing that on purpose, no? The Yoshida there's family. exactly. Yeah. And there's they've got some famous examples. There's some alpine flowers. <coughs> there's a. Uh, meadow with green grass and some yellow alpine mm. flowers here and what I don't they know this one the, what okay. they've done is and i can't put a name but, but the point being they did the flowers first with very high pressure and that embossed each of the flowers got pushed into the soft paper and then they had a green block and it was just a flat green block mm. and the flowers were not carved mm. out of it Instead of going to all the trouble yeah, of carving yeah, out the yeah. space for That's all the yellow flowers, incredible. you just have to green yeah. block, put the paper on and print softly, and the yellow the flowers back. didn't catch it because they'd been pushed down. It's yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. you're talking exactly. about exactly yeah, here. Yeah. So that is a known, I mean, yeah. we ourselves yeah, sort of yeah. Yeah, I know, do that sort of thing. Uh, I know it from a print, I think it was Ito Shinze who had made like, uh, Shinze, or had, I don't know, who had like a, a, a picture of a woman bathing or washing herself, mm -hmm. and the outlines are white. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, okay. that, but that's a specific karazuri. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah There's yeah. a block for the outlines. Exactly, but it was embossed. <coughs> yes. And then printed, the, all the shapes around it were printed, and the lines kept white because of the embossing. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I, yeah, I was interested in this technique and wanted to try it out. So I got it once on purpose, and I got it once okay. uh, <laughs> on by accident. <laughs> Yeah. 
So as soon as I wear this one, it looks like an intentional drop of water rolling down the yeah, glass. It does so actually because it's here in a few places. Yeah. yeah. So in that case, do it again. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe it's it's not so. Yeah. 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 Where it comes here, I'm constantly wishing Moko Hankan would push the boundaries more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In what sense? Well, it's kind of what this person is asking, I don't know. I know. Moko Hankan is a company which lives and breathes in the shape of its founder. There's a DNA here because it's my DNA. So we do stuff that I like and I feel comfortable with. And at 72, 72 next month, whatever, I'm not going to be a boundary pusher. Mm. I'm the kind of person who wants to really do what we do as well as I possibly can and, and codify it as well as I possibly can. So you're not really going to see wild experimental prints coming out of Mokohankan or even playing with these ideas because it just doesn't suit my own DNA. It doesn't matter that I'm not doing it because lots of other people are doing all these things. And that's an, an important core part of what I do showing as much as what we do to everybody and letting other people pick it up and run with mm -hmm. it. So Rod San here wants me to push the boundaries more. No, I'm providing as much information <laughs> as I can and the boundary pushing is going to be done by people. No, really, this is a serious point. Mm -hmm. no, boundary pushing gets done by the people who don't want to be the, the super controlled people and who want to play with things like this. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. I'll stick with what I'm going to do and the rest of the world will you know, run with this. There's a few other, when, I, when you first put this on the table, mm. the first thing that caught my eye actually was the overlaid colors here. Mm. Can I, let me just guess what might be happening here. The ground here, and of course the light is coming through the window, so we have a different tone color. Does that green-brown go underneath the green all the way, and then this is another color on top? Or do these colors come up with each other like this? Not at first, it's, it's printed on top. Yeah. So this color does go under yeah, here first, exactly. and then this comes on yeah. top. Mm -hmm. But there's an interesting paradox there, because this, where the window is, this is supposed to be a lighter area. Light is coming through. Mm. So wouldn't you have a but darker not a, area otherwise and a light? Wouldn't it have been the other way around? No, because it's always a window always um, uh, catches light away. Yeah, this I know also from my history as the gardener. Catches light away. <laughs> it, I mean, if you, a window uh, uh, is never never as much light behind a window as uh, behind an open uh, an open space, and also it was not like. I mean, I looked at the window the way it was. Yeah. It's also not a clear window. So it's like a matted, mat, matted glass. Okay. How you call okay, that? Okay, okay. Yeah. Right, so yeah. your point is the so area of the floor here is actually darker. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I mean, I see it as darker. And I'm just curious. Yeah. To be in front of a window, I would have expected the floor More. to be brighter yeah, yeah, and yeah, the darker yeah. to be yeah. the other area. But it, and it's not a window that opens up to, uh, to, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. to the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see myself a little bit in here, because when I was doing the first experiments in printmaking, and we're talking 1979 or whatever, mm -hmm. before I ever thought I would be a printmaker, before I was going to be the control freak, before all that stuff, I had seen prints, I just wanted to try something. I didn't have any idea that you could make reproductions of older prints. All I knew was that if I wanted to make a woodblock print, well, first thing, you have to try drawing something or whatever. And I couldn't draw, I couldn't do anything, but this was the first step I had to get through in order to get to the fun part of cutting yeah. something and printing yeah. something. And I looked around me, and we had a shoji screen in our house, so one of my first prints, they were, they were like this. They were architectural elements yeah. with lines, and there was the floor, and there was a shoji screen and the yeah. wall. And Dave drew this and cut this, and then had his, had his fun yeah, yeah, cutting yeah. and trying to print. So this print, for me, goes right back to one of the mm, earliest kind of things I was doing. Yeah, so cool. I soon learned that I wasn't going to be a designer, because there was no inherent... I had nothing I wanted to talk about, and mm. I realized that for me, I just wanted the carving and yeah, printing. I didn't make. care about the design. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was logical to go through to being a reproductive place, yeah. learning just the technique. You're obviously, I was going to say still, it sounds like you're going to go the same path. No, of course not. You're, you're the other way. Mm. Is there any way to sort of quantify this? Do you feel what's more important here, the drawing or the carving or the printing or... See, again, I'm, I'm, I'm hand hand. answering myself because <laughs> the carving is so much fun and interesting. It dominates for me. <laughs> yeah. So for you, the, when you're designing, it's fun or it's a chore? Or when you're carving, it's fun or it's a chore? I mean, it's a silly question to ask. It's I all know. fun, I find. It's because all fun. Yeah, because even in the carving, I stick on the design and it's still, I mean, I kind of know what the color separation is. This will sound maybe crazy to you, but... 
uh, a lot of it also happens still during the carving. Uh, You're making it up as you go along to some exactly. extent, of course. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, it's still also a creative process. And then comes the printing. And then again, you have to make these decisions about color. But mm. sometimes mm. some blocks that you cut might not work so well mm. because the texture you were thinking was going to go somewhere mm. is mm. not needed. or mm. And so it's constantly mm. being sharp and trying and evaluating it. And I really like this about printing. It's very yeah. different from painting, where it's, I mean, sometimes after printing, I'm happy that I can paint again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> but uh, I like this of printing, mm. that it's a way to mm. work on the image over mm. and over again in each step. Yeah. This is something, you know, whatever people who know me, they, they know I'm going to struggle with this because it's something I've never been able to reconcile myself, is how much freedom to allow yourself once the process is underway. Mm. Because going by my sort of self-established rules, I dominate this, I control this. We have our goal of where we're going to go, and if it goes somewhere else, it means it's I wrong. have failed. So, <laughs> so, you can laugh all you want, whatever. There's a pendulum here which is one and all the yeah, way over. Yeah. So, so Dave, I said, I'm struggling this, so I will never ever make good original prints. Mm -hmm. I would never be, I've tried, I've got some out there. And one reason why they didn't come out as well as they should have is because I didn't allow myself that freedom to mm -hmm. let it change during while I was making it. No, you decided what to do, you must go there. It wasn't working, it wasn't working. Tough beans you chose your path do it even it's if failing. You, yeah, and yeah. I fail rather than change this, <laughs> yeah. is, this is a hundred percent defect here I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing as I say this so it's interesting to talk to people well in some professions but in other professions it's uh, well, if you're a doctor it's a or whatever very <laughs> good quality to have. <laughs> so, no. I mean doctors have to cure that patient you know yeah. whatever you don't you know, make oh it's not going the way I want it to go uh, yeah. of course <laughs> so, so whatever you know, I can laugh as I'm saying this it's, it's who I am, it's the way things are, and it's always interesting to see people who operate a different way. And I can say this safely, because I'm pleased at what I see. You, you seem to me to have found, again, going by my own valuations, mm, Tisha, yeah. you found that you had some idea in mind, and you got, a, got going on it and got your work done, and you're admitting to me that things changed as the way they went along, mm. but the result still looks beautiful and fine and interesting. And then that's, like, so that, <laughs> that's yeah. nice. And I'm just, no, Dave, Dave is uh, being very self-centered here. But the, the only reason to say polite things oh, about yeah. somebody no. is when they match what he thinks. And this is totally wrong. You know. <laughs> oh, yellow sun. My Hi, God, that's right. Morning. You're back. You're back morning. reporting for duty. Ah, thank you for covering my, my job while I was away. Thank okay, you. we can't even see it. There's no camera to yeah. see you right uh, now. It's, it's oh, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. I'll come back. Oh, my God. What Perfect. bad timing. Soka, soka. We have just just one second, one second. And if we pop this camera off for just yeah, a moment, yeah. uh -huh. we do have this camera. Just come and say hello at least. Hi, oh, hi. Oh, Ayana-san is back after weeks of weeks of uh, adventuring in in Wales and in England. Wales, and yeah, you yeah. must have a hundred stories. Yeah, yeah. It's actually difficult to remember. I feel like uh, you know we spent three days in London when we arrived, and it mm. was like a mm. long time ago in my memory. It's okay, yes. okay, but how are we going to do this now? Because we can't interrupt yeah. this to hear. No, I don't want to no, no, no. This but, 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 but what you don't know is Thursday stream is also not going to be a normal stream. Oh. You're going to be part of it, but. <laughs> there is, is we need a chance. Whatever. We'll hear Ayano's stories when we have a chance to hear them. It's okay. We can't hear them today and we won't be able to hear them on Thursday. She doesn't <laughs> okay. know she doesn't know what's happening on Thursday yet. So, yeah. yeah. Should I should I go? I'll, I'll talk I'll talk to you later. I'll okay. break I'll break okay. it to you later. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, so yeah, for the moment really I'm sorry. Just this, so, yeah. just hello and here you are and uh, Yeah, I'm back. I'm fine. We're back. And there's of course the stream has gone hello, hello, back. Remember I, I, Ayano I, San? So 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 so. <laughs> and, we will just have to listen to some stories when we have later chats, on. Yeah. All I can report right now is that uh, I left the two overnight orders in the incoming. I yeah. didn't do orders. Mm. Your inbox is empty. Empty, yes. Empty, and I mean empty, you know, up to the day that you yeah. left. I saw, oh, there's I one this DHL one. notice in there. So mm. I want to talk to you about this kind of stuff later on. Yeah, I think I need to talk to you and what an before Mostly, I you know, start anything. Talk, talk to what an first. first. I, I have no, everything I've done, I've cleared out and finished and done. Okay. I have nothing pending that I'm going to leave that for Ayanna when she gets back. The three emails that are in the email viewer box 
are this type. That's not empty. There's three people and they're all the same thing. Where's my print? Where's my print? Where's my print? They just need okay. answer last month, last month, last month. Okay. But there are no pending issues that I've got to talk to you about. Oh. I've cleared it all. But what Nabi-san does have a couple of things. She's got a list for you. Okay. okay. So talk to her first before you dig in. Okay. Welcome back. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, thank you. And I'm really looking forward to hearing a bunch of stories. Yeah. Okay. Honeymoon in England for three weeks. My God. Yeah. My God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, excuse me, Afghan. Sorry, sorry. Okay. 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 But thank Talk you very to you soon. Yes. Yeah. I'll be here until 9 30 and then I'll come back. Bye bye. Bye bye. I didn't raise, of course, I know Sam was going to be back. She's always back at 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly right. So, 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 nice. so. Where were yeah. we? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Do you said you brought three prints? Yeah, one more. Mm -hmm. A bigger one. Big print. Since it was raining so Oh, much. no way! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You were there for five weeks? Yeah. And you did one, <laughs> two, what? What? <laughs> no way. Like, do you sleep? Yeah. Well, for this one, this one was <laughs> last day, it was three o'clock. But, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> I can't even zoom out far enough. We can't do that. I'm going to have to just hold it like this. We can't. We can't. Is it visible? It's visible on the, on the larger. Okay, tell us about this one, ma'am. I can't even see it. Tell us what we're looking at. Is that the place where you had so, the residence? Yeah, this is the view from uh, from the studio uh, in the back. And uh, wait, wait, after the view one from of the studio. That is the yeah. studio. It's the view from the studio. No, from the window of the studio to the back of the studio, like to to. Oh, yeah. different, a different building. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The neighbors. Uh, that are there, and uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. after a rainy, uh, after a rainy spell. Okay, this looks like a watercolor and a wash, but this is wood box print. Uh, yeah, it's print. Yeah, it's, so this is. Uh, I want to experiment more with uh, shallow carving, uh, and here I used the um, Aizuki. How do you call it again? The 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 uh, the, the, bone, bone the, bone, the flat yeah. chisels that we use. Yeah. Tell me, because I have no idea what's going on here. Yeah, I have no clue. So these are uh, there's a light gray block beneath this all, mm -hmm. and I carved it very shallowly. Um, so you mean, you mean there's, there's no deep areas scooped out? Almost not. Light. Yeah. Okay. It's, so what's going to print and what's like not going to print depends on the barren pressure. I mean, I, I press really hard because it's like it's so a those paper. shallow areas would also print then. They yeah, but if it's not like. I did quite some proof printing to check each time, like mm -hmm. what's gonna pick up mm -hmm. and what's not mm -hmm. gonna mm -hmm. pick. And I printed with a relatively soft baron, okay, uh, with a medium Murasaki baron. Uh, so some of it here, where it actually looks white, then that part that didn't was print enough. at all. It was exactly. deep enough where you didn't press. Yeah, and yeah. some areas we don't even know. This might have been scooped out a little bit, but it's printing soft a tone. little bit. Yeah, like uh, like half tone. Okay, and yeah, that's not just one block. You've done that with one block and at least one more, and maybe another one on top three, of that. Three blocks. Lay yeah, up all exactly. carved out shallowly in different places. Exactly. And there's your clouds. And then you get your clouds. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then you but get But you have no softness. idea really what's coming up. So you're proofing and cutting and proofing and cutting and proofing and cutting are you? yeah yeah although when you do it like a few times you know okay, you're starting okay, to get okay. a feeling get the what's going yeah on. Yes. Okay. and some places because sometimes <coughs> even when you use the blue nose gouge you get uh, some sharper edges in uh, some place i didn't want them and i used another sandpaper again mm, to just to soften yeah, it even okay. more but if you look at the block it's almost more like a, a sculpture it's a yeah. It's then a, that uh, yeah. then that it's a. It's a, a sanded right. piece of wood that has variation. Exactly. Yeah. In, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's no way that you planned in advance what the cloud is going to look like. You sort of obviously clearly absolutely you make it up as you go along and doing this bit by bit. No, no, no. There was a design beforehand. So. But I mean, I mean the building in a mountain and. But yeah, I'm but the clouds also some where where really? it should be lights really? and okay. where it should so you, be dark. You sketched with a pencil on the wood and and. Uh, on iPad, yeah, I used the iPad to make the drawing. How do you get this. it from the iPad to the wood? And then I, I printed it on a copy shop, Seven Eleven. This big. Two two sheets. Of A three. A three, glued them together on the block. Yeah. Five blocks, and then peel them off. Uh, copy like paper. Like you do with the uh, yeah. But peeling yeah. off copy paper. Awful, I mean, I can show you a picture of the. It's pretty. It's doable. It's actually pretty. Uh, I've I've perfectioned my 
my technique. So it's pretty... I don't know if people can see that. This maybe should have... It's not clearly visible, but what are we looking at? Tell me, this is a block now. So, I so the image is on the block. Exactly. Okay, I transferred so this the is image the, by the iPad sticking image. it down. Yeah. Okay, but this box partly carved, so it's not the yeah. whole. Okay. No, it's but not those the over the right hand side of this image, the clouds we see there. Exactly. That's your starting image from yeah. the iPad. Yeah. And this is pasted onto the wood, peeled off from the back. Peeled off. And then I use some Camilla oil to make the paper more transparent. A little bit transparent. Still. Okay. The last okay. part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. I peel it, I sand it. Mm -hmm. Because when you peel it, there comes a stage where you can't peel without damaging yep. the, yep. the yep. Yep. So yep. I okay. sand it down. And then I put in Camilla oil, and then I have a really okay. pretty clear. Okay. Okay. Image so actually, this is almost exactly what we're doing. We're going to the 7-Eleven. The stuff you saw me peel the other day. This has been printed out at the 7-Eleven. Yeah. But the difference is, I don't use the 7-Eleven paper. You we, use we good put, paper. No, 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 no. <laughs> we take normal copy paper ah. and we spray our gumpy. Yeah, this I know. On top of yeah. it. And I. This, when the 7-Eleven clerk is not looking, I put that paper into the copy ah, machine. Yeah, yeah. Then press really? my button and it comes out. <laughs> so I'm using the same thing as you, but I've got Gumpy on top of it. Yeah. But okay, whatever, you've got a way of doing this, but that peeling, the, the actual copy paper peeling is an awfully difficult, you know. Well, you know, there's a secret to it that it has a, it has a wood grain. It has a, 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 a direction. A direction. Yeah. And I'm able to peel off in, okay. in three or four Without pulls. destroying your fingers, okay. Three yeah. or three pulls okay. and then it's okay. clear. Yeah. But you have to do like, you have to try the direction because if it doesn't mm. work, then mm. you're, you're mm. peeling in the wrong direction. Mm. You have to try the other side. Okay. okay. You just get little yeah. fragments running all over the place. And, and then you yeah. get fragments. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And okay. also okay. your design pumps unclear. But as yeah. when you, when you're able to pull the big pieces shapes, off, then it becomes a clear image. There you go. So we don't need the gumpy. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. Although, yeah, I learned, you know, and you don't know this, but I learned the, the printing from you, from watching all your videos. And I and I had to find new solutions to, uh, because in Holland... You don't have a 3 size gumpy paper. No, uh, exactly. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so that, that's, that's the way it goes, of course. Yeah, so, exactly. So, so, so. Yeah. Can I ask a couple of things? What what am I seeing here? So these... these so uh, let me find, let me find it first for them so they can see this. What are we looking at here? Because this is totally different from the rest of the picture. This yeah. is sharp. Yeah. There's it's some sharp lines in the clouds that I, I like to I like to have uh, in the oh, design okay, I had. This I is mountain some. and that's cloud. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sharp yeah. lines in the clouds. Yeah, because there were some more... Yeah, in the distance there were some sharper clouds. So I brought in some sharp lines. And I, uh, um, yeah, I thought it was interesting to have mm. some sharpness mm. in the mm. otherwise mm. softness. Mm. Yeah. This is so much work, you know, incredible, incredible. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many impressions? Or, or? Uh, this was 14. 14 yeah. impressions. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this is a proof then, and you're going to edition yeah. this once you get home. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'd like to find a place maybe here to do it, but I have to see. Yeah. To, uh, print. to do the work, work right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. We, yeah. have, we have benches upstairs, there's an empty bench upstairs, but I don't think there's any way you can handle a sheet of paper this large. It's in big our, enough? In our, in our benches. Okay. No, our benches are physically too small. To print this? Yes. We, no, <laughs> I'm not being no, sarcastic. We are, the largest print we would ever print here normally is an Oban print, which is it's like half. an A3. It's half of this. Yeah, yeah. It's so like we, the we have built all of our, our, our workstations upstairs are built for that size. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any, nobody here prints standing up at a table, no. stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah, so. yeah. Okay, let's chat. Once the stream's over, let's chat about this. Let's go mm. upstairs and have a peek because there is, at the moment, it's still summer holidays. We've got people not oh, here. Oh, that's cool. And we have an empty workstation. Okay. But, but you know. Yeah, we have to check then. Mm, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm cool. If mm -hmm. So you're still not sure when you're going back to Holland? No, exactly. Because I I tried out this paper, but I would like to try out some more papers and uh, mm. to find something that's suitable for for my kind of printing mm. also. Mm -hmm. And some for some things, it's really good. Like with the screen and the embossing, I like to play around with it more. But um, yeah, for other things, it was quite fragile. This paper. Okay. So also. you're open for a while. So You've got some time here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you have a return ticket or what, what's the visa? What's so your visa? Yeah. How long have you been here? What's your visa status? I've been here two months, so I can stay still a month. Oh, you're a few and weeks. I, yeah. You're on a 90 day. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. okay and okay. I was thinking of going over to Korea, and then come back. 
to, to renew the, the travel visa. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have a job or a school to get back to or something, you're okay? No, I'm an artist. So this is what, this is what I do. <laughs> Like, but like, as far as eating and stuff like this, I mean, I, well, I'm sorry, but it's okay. It has I to be know. paid, you mean. Or, well, how, how are you making a living? I'm sorry. Or if you don't want to talk about it. I, no, no, sure. I, I sell my work. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the main thing. Okay. And for uh, going to my lab, I got some funding from the, oh, the Dutch okay. government. Okay. Okay. So, uh, oh, sorry, I just I didn't know the background here. Sorry. Yeah, Excuse that's me. totally fine. No, no. I'm also a little bit kidding. I'm just teasing too. <laughs> when you say like, don't you have something to come back to? Oh, <laughs> because it's... <laughs> No, yeah. So, I, but of course, I have to have to eat. Uh, so I, we spend here every day dealing with foreigners who are the next day leaving Japan to go yeah. somewhere else. So yeah, 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 yeah. So. No, but I. I uh, All right then, let's talk. Let's go upstairs, have a look at the space. If there's yeah, a space that you nice. can use, because I said at the moment we are we have, you know, one of our printers left last month. You know, but I don't know about the size. Anyway, let's chat about. It. Yeah. You're welcome to use some Thanks. space. Thanks, that would be really great. Hello, yeah. Karen here. You know, she spent X weeks here. John Amos has spent time. Fabio Laguil has spent some time here. I'm cool with that. Wow, great. There's nothing yeah. we can teach you. You know exactly what you're going to be well, doing at all. I'm not no, sure. You know. No, I no, no, no. We, we are in no way going to be your guru or anything like that. Just no. simply supply a space where you can uh, yeah, yeah, work. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I don't know where we can watch. <laughs> see what's going on. So, 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 so. Yeah. yeah, see the blocks. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Look, I, hadn't, I didn't expect the conversation to go that way, but yes, okay. I assume just you were here to heading for the airport tomorrow. And, uh, no, yeah, yeah, out, because, so. well, I, I expected to be here three months, and, and that's it. Uh, but like I said, I really enjoy it here, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there's so much, uh, I think, with materials that's interesting to try out here that's mm -hmm. not so easy to get in Europe. Of course, of course you can order of it, course, of course, of but course, of course. it will take a long time. Okay. And well, we here, we don't have a whole lot of different types of paper to try from. We have just really one type of yeah, paper. Yeah, you we, used uh, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the other thing too is when we get the paper from Iwano-san, it's unsized. Mm -hmm. So all of our paper stock upstairs is not sized. And in, we ourselves, because we're not making prints this large, we don't have a facility here for sizing paper yeah. this large. In fact, you size it in the size that you cut it? Or? No, we, the, this afternoon I'm going to be doing sizing and I'm going to be taking single sheets of paper, they're too big for our brush, mm. so I'm going to slice them in half. Mm. But each one of those will be making one, two, three, four prints. But I don't cut that in four pieces no, and size yeah, each one. because it's a lot of work also. Yeah, well, it's also you get, you got no clips and all that kind of stuff. So, so we will size in as large as we can get away with and chop it up later for yeah, the yeah, prints. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have a brush as big as this. No, so if yeah. you wanted to try printing this here next week on some of our Iwano paper, I don't have an easy quick answer because mm. we have no way to size sheets to size of paper it. in this. Yeah, yeah. Now, having said that, there are we're not the ultimate sizing workshop here. <laughs> Note to mention, there's, an, there's many ways to do things, but what we've done is we've followed the traditional sizing idea that it should be done always on a single stroke. Mm. You never overlap. In the Adachi workshop, they long ago gave up on that. Oh, They're yeah. doing their own sizing, and they do it with a weaker size in multiple passes. Uh -huh. And I've never watched them do it. Isama-san wouldn't let me do that. But Kubota-san, he says, no, 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 no. He just goes like this. Dip, dip, cha-cha-cha-cha. Dip, 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 cha-cha-cha-cha. Dip, 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 cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. So dipping and rushing, dipping and brushing, dipping and rushing. There'll be lots of areas where we're So whatever. There's different ways to do stuff. But no, no, the, no, what I'm, I'm all I'm you getting know, at is not, I'm not serious when I say So <laughs> I can't do this for you my way here because mm. I don't have a brush that mm. big. But if we were willing to accept a bit of experimentation wow. and do it, there are other. I'm like, as you can see, I'm not. <laughs> other ways to kill the cat here. So, <laughs> like, yeah, so, so this lady would never get involved with experimentation at all. <laughs> exactly, I don't do so, that. So. <laughs> Well, maybe because we've got a ton of paper upstairs, and uh, oh, that would be great. But yeah. again, but again, the problem is bench, 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 bench. You know, so yeah, we'll see, yeah, we'll see then. Mm. Okay, let's see works. what we can do upstairs. That would be really so, cool. So, 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 so. I've missed a million questions. I'm supposed to have been catching up on all the questions to, to pass yeah. to you, and I've missed them. While I'm looking at the chat now, mods or anybody else, is there anything else? Before we're getting towards the end of the stream here, oh, yeah. are there important questions for Afghisan here that I have missed? Okay, if you, here's your Just chance talking, right talking, now. Talking, yeah, because I've been talking. Not, <laughs> I might have been talking too much, but I certainly haven't been looking at this. Yeah. So here's a chance right now. Anything specifically I should ask her or tell her 
here's your chance while I'm watching this. Someone says, I don't think so. Oh, well. I guess we've covered <laughs> we've it. We've covered oh, it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Buying prints and stuff. Do you have a website? Do you sell prints? Tell yeah, us what's going on. Yeah, yeah. you can support my stay here uh, by buying something, of course. Do we have so, a link? I don't, do the uh, mods have that link you for can, After uh, Sun's website? Yeah, my website is my contact information. Oh, okay, we got it. Check her work on Instagram. Link. Or Instagram. Some of the woodblock prints can be seen here. Afgeitsima.nl. Artwork. Yeah. That's the website. Yeah, that's my website. Okay, okay, okay. And on Instagram, you can DM me. Okay, no, it says here the mods would do a great job providing background answering information. Good. It yeah. sounds like that information is up. Cool. There. Good, 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 cool. good, good. What was the plan for South Korea? Uh, I'll go to Seoul, but just shortly, I think, visit some museums. If anybody has good tips, then uh, then write oh, me. Oh, you weren't printmaking over but there. But I don't as, think I As a tourist. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, it's it's mostly, I, I, my focus is mainly Japan, and I have to leave yeah. after 90 days, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, I see. So Korea might have been the in-out. Yeah. Did, did, they, did the immigration allow that still? Do they let I think so, out? yeah. Mm -hmm. I've heard people okay. do it. Once. So I hope. If you yeah, tried once. twice, it might yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I mean, in the old days, that was the deal. You know, yeah. Over yeah. there for at least three days. Because yeah. if you came back the same day, they wouldn't let they you do it. Blah, blah, blah. Probably, yeah. Somebody's asking, do you know, I don't know the pronunciation, excuse me, mm. the Dutch name, Pieter Hofstie in Leeuwarden. Peter Hofstad? Peter Hofstie. Is this a printmaker Peter in the Netherlands? Hofstee. I don't know. No. <laughs> no what it seems I not, know uh, yeah. a different Peter, Peter van Leer, but not, not uh, sorry, no. <laughs> Is he an artist or just someone living there? Okay, it's not okay. a big city, but okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we haven't missed anything. That sounds That's good. good. Okay, all right, yeah. all right, all right. Anything else that you specifically want to bring up or talk about while we have this yeah, we didn't even audience talk about of connoisseurs the, here? Yeah, no, we didn't even talk about the big prints or the the, the other things that was the original uh, uh, start when I came here, but it's not really important. I don't the, the bigger, well, the, the big size prints that I made before. Uh, with, the, with the figures on Oh, them. but you didn't bring them. No, no, no. no we don't no, have any no, images. No, so, yeah, yeah, soka, yeah. soka, 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 soka. Yeah, yeah. But that's the yeah. you no know, okay. That's it's pointless to try and talk about that now because no. we don't have anything to exactly. show them. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, no. The lady has no, worked yeah. in much larger size than this, and in fact, are, are they on the website? I guess people yeah. can see those. Yeah, yeah, you can see them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Soka, soka. No, I had no way to uh, no, get yeah, images. No, no, no. So, so. no, it was nice talking. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let's wrap it up. Then we normally do finish the last 10, 15 minutes. I've got a folder of prints we can look at, which you can look at. Yeah. But, uh, cool. Let's wrap that up then. Thank you very much, yeah. you know. It's easy for me, you know, when you were here a few weeks ago, I said, hey, drop by, we can put you on the stool, because I knew what that meant, but I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I sort of apologize now. I assumed you knew what I was talking about. Oh, it's fine, yeah. When I said the stream and you can be the guest, I thought you'd seen these before. I mean, I'm not, uh, was, I'm born in the modern time, so I, I kind of have an idea of what oh, yeah, it, no, what no, it no, meant. Internet, I mean, I'm I mean, not... <laughs> but I mean, I assumed totally that you knew exactly what I meant and you'd seen the previous guests yeah, here yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. I apologize for that. I, I hadn't realized you didn't know what can So thanks for being a good sport and agreeing yeah, to come you. when you didn't even really know what was uh, going to be going on. Thank you for inviting stuff, me. Yeah. So, so, so. No problem at all. It was really nice talking to you. And, and I hope I haven't talked too things. much, and I hope you've had a chance to explain to, to sure. people what's going on. What's no, going I on? thought it was interesting yeah, yeah. also talking to you about it and hearing your questions. Yeah. And yeah, to yeah. say again, you were there for five weeks. Mm. I don't know, to think, I don't mean, you haven't made 99 copies of each no, one. He's obviously yeah. proofed each one of these. But to get all this carving done, and obviously these designs too, these are designs that you worked out while you there. were there. You yeah. didn't come from the Netherlands with this design, because no. these, these are designs Church that Japan. happened right there. Yeah, yeah. Well, the so first that's, design I, I that's, you know, again, yeah. it's a self-centered thing to say, but the same thing. I mean, this, to see somebody who is so uh, vividly goal-oriented, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to use my time, and I'm going to make the most of this opportunity, and this really pushes my butts, you know, mm. full of admiration for what you can Thank do. You. Yeah. I'm getting more and more, and now where I'm getting more and more frustrated, I've got my goals, but these days I never seem to be getting stuff done, mm. you know. So I know much there's do. so much going on, so yeah. that's the excuse. Yeah. But the fact of the matter still is I'm now daily being frustrated by not able to do mm -hmm. the things that to I would get like to, to, to do. To the carving so, also, so to the working, yeah. yeah. So to see somebody who is sort of still at a stage of life where you're in this, <laughs> having a goal it. and getting it done, <laughs> I'm just like, 
<laughs> All right, lady. <laughs> You're on my team. You know? we're, Thanks. We're with this. So, so, Thanks. so I'm, yeah. full of, I'm full of admiration. For but I know the feeling also do. when uh, things interfere. In, I mean, that's lovely also from this place in, uh, in my lab, that it's uh, everything set up to work. So, ah, so they get out, I mean, they, everything's ready and then out of the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Supported. And also be, be with offering this possibility of having someone cook or even make lunch. You mm -hmm. know, you don't, yeah, uh, yeah, the first weeks yeah, I did, we yeah. didn't have to go to the supermarket or anything. So... Oh, so because uh, they knew you were fresh and didn't exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. that's yeah. really well organized yeah. that helps well a lot. they've got their experience at this station yeah so they've been doing this for a lot of years yeah so. you can see that yeah, yeah. So. are you going to be coming back are you going to do it again the my lab hmm. um well maybe i it's interesting that they go to hsn and yeah uh, for paper making sure. yeah, yeah. And, and the papers and uh i think yeah that could be cool yeah. but we have to see i mean uh, yeah i i I make a living, but it's still quite expensive mm. to to do. Oh, so, uh, but also the two I skipped over when we talked about that earlier. The craftsmen or the the teachers, mm. whatever the printers, they came up for two days, then disappeared and came up for two days. Did you learn a lot from those guys in those days, or was it mostly the things you learned and worked out were from self direction and working and studying? And I think just it was both. Prints? Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, they did, they did a lot of demonstrations and some uh, one artist brought her her blocks and we were able to print those blocks and she looked at us printing and mm -hmm. corrected us mm -hmm. in things that was very mm -hmm. uh, helpful that sounds like a masterclass approach so yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But also printing ourselves, yeah. Mm. I think some in the first weeks it would have been nice actually to have someone had, uh, there uh, for the whole time when you're also starting out. I mean, you have to carve the blocks. So uh, for me, uh, since I print uh, carve with the couches, it's less interesting to have someone there giving instructions. Mm. But I feel those first weeks it would have been nice to have somebody there to to mm. to watch what mm. you're doing and, and to but say you like said hey, for the beginning classes there is somebody. Yeah, there. yeah. Said, but okay. even in advance, you know, you learn. I I learned from watching your uh, videos, mm. and mm. Uh, mm. sometimes I observed well, but in other things I didn't. And uh, you know, mm. you you make mistakes and you do you learn things in a way that maybe work for you. Uh, up to a certain point, but uh, sometimes don't give you the results that you that you wish for. Mm. And it would be interesting to have somebody yeah. look yeah. over your shoulder and say like, hey, you're moving the burn in, in this way, mm. but maybe in this case, if okay. you want a soft effect, it's better to but do it. But the other students then couldn't do this because they're sort of people with a similar exactly, experience level, level as yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, without telling secrets, there are five people, were you like... Yeah, about the same level, I think. About the same level? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Some a bit less. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. some of those people, I mean, if there's a person in the five who really hasn't been doing this very long, they're going to learn a lot from the other four people. Yeah, yeah. But if one of the five is really quite experienced, perhaps less, less so. Less so. so. Yeah, so that's a, that yeah. is always the case, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. yeah. So it seems like though they've got this organization, the Milab, they've really got a good balance here, it seems, mm -hmm. based on what you're describing. You know? Yeah, yeah. A good environment, a good place to go. You've got yeah. to be self-directed. If you didn't have that, you're going to be lost. Cause then you're going to be lost, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but you knew to, this before you came. Yeah, yeah. And a reasonable amount of professional guidance and professional yeah. help. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you would, like, recommend this? Yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. To anybody. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad to yeah, hear it's going and it's healthy, printing. you know, so... Yeah. so we don't have much contact with the people like you're the only person I know of who's done this mm -hmm. and this year you said there's five sessions and all those people have come and gone and they don't end up coming through Mokohankan because yeah. it's, it's such it's a, a different, different world, world. So, yeah. so, so I'm yeah. glad we've had this contact and uh, yeah, get, nice. this, yeah. get this overlap with there so. yeah mm. me too <laughs> okay thank you very much yeah. thank you very much so, so, so you have your free your break I guess so, okay, so what, what's our time here oi, 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 oi. Oh, people still ask, is this lady Dutch? People, that's the other problem with the stream, of course, is that people are coming and going and coming and going all Later. the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, so there's yeah. people are just dropped in just they hear right my now accent. and You're don't right. have any idea what's going on. You know, <laughs> We also get this thing. I saw this on the stream the other day when I was chatting the chat. Someone comes in at like 9.29. Yeah. Oh, this looks interesting. And then, is that all? Because one minute later, <laughs> one minute later, they start. Start again. So, 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 so. You can just start okay. the whole time. A very quick little show and tell. I have a folder of prints for show and tell, but it doesn't make any sense now. We've only got like five minutes left. So let's do this. This was a package of prints sitting on the top of my desk. I, I was going to open the box, but somebody else opened it yesterday. 
This is a package of prints from one of our printers. It's Chihadu-san up in Nagano Prefecture. Uh -huh. She lives by her, by, with her family. She's a single woman with an uh, elementary school aged child and she's living in a very, very small town out in the boonies up in Nagano Prefecture. She used to live in Tokyo but moved back there. It's to live north, northwest, her. right? Nagano. No, no, yeah, yeah, Which, uh, yeah in North Mountains. exactly, across, yes, yes, yes. I know it's from the ice skating. Uh, <laughs> because the Dutch are so good at the ice skating. Soka, so I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So, but where she lives is her but anyway, she's, she works for us as a full-time printer, oh, wow. and she is probably our most single, absolutely productive printer. And just, she keeps going and going and going. She drops her name into my Dosa calendar, and what she's done for us this time is one of our... Heroes Prince. Somebody, of course, the Dutch person knows about ice skating. So <laughs> here we go. And this is our famous Times Burned Bright. Our Ukiyo-e Heroes series started in an Ukiyo-e style, but as the series moved along, it morphed. And this is not what anybody would call an ukiyo-e print. It's too much shading, too much depth. Ukiyo-e prints are flat. There's no shadows, there's no, uh, there's no shading at depth at all. So this has roots in an ukiyo-e tradition, but it's completely different. It's, it has light, it's darker, it's gloomier. And this is one of the most difficult prints in our catalog, the most difficult to produce. Because the gray tones also. Oh, yeah, everything. The, to the colors, the tones. And we've got a number of places where you can see, for example, here, there's a gray shadow in the background, and the gray shadow appears over mm -hmm. her skin. But, and it'll probably be a different block. There's another gray shadow appearing over his armor, and another gray shadow appearing over this blue, and another gray shadow appearing over this one. And in the beginning, when we were trying to do this, Jed and I, we really struggled because he would do one gray shadow in Photoshop, which looked fine. It did mm. the gray toning for everything, but in the case of a woodblock print, it doesn't work. Yeah, I can understand. And yeah. if we had, it did, I don't remember now because it's been years since I carved this, but uh, we had to break it up into gray number one, gray number two, gray yeah. number three, whatever, so they could be applied more lightly. Yeah. We learned it would just it just destroys the skin tones when you try to print a gray yeah. that's too dark. It just looks like dirt. So, so we finally got it on this one, and it's uh, extremely. Complex to print, extremely. How many? How many? Uh, I don't remember. It's years since we made this too. Mm -hmm. And also, what I've just said actually sort of goes against one of the things I said earlier. Jed sends me sends me the design in Photoshop, and Control Freak Dave does the color separations, sends it to the printer. We're all done. And it didn't work this way. Of course, no. I didn't succeed. <laughs> when we did the first test printing, we realized that the separation work didn't work. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to come back and do it again. So Dave was not trying to pretend that he always actually succeeds in this goal all the time. We too, we go down dead ends and wrong ends and mm. stuff. And it's funny because the experience I learned from this and other similar prints, I applied on the one I'm carving right now. And before we're at the test printing stage, I've already split yeah, the gray up. You maybe heard the other day. I did split the gray up because mm. I knew where we were going mm. with this one. So it's a question of experience learned in one print. You yeah. know how it works. It just yeah, you make a mistake once. And do everything else. Well, some of us, we make a mistake a lot more than once. Not but more, yeah, <laughs> I was saying it and then I thought, like, mm, after. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there we go. And uh, this is something else, too. The consistency from one to the other, one to the other. This is what we are really proud of. And it's also a paradox. If we want consistency, why not ask a machine to print them? You're a bit more okay. The ten prints you're going to make in your edition may vary yeah, a bit more because yeah, that's your yeah, style. Yeah. You know, but for us, variation course, equals yeah. failure. Anyway, there we are. We'll close off with this one. Okay, that's Chrono. It's a Chrono Trigger game. Of course, we call it Times Burn Bright on our website. Okay, we've now we've gone around and around and around all different kinds of places. Time to sign off. Thanks very much, Afkisan, for coming, especially because you didn't me. really know what we were getting into. I <laughs> apologize about that. I'm sorry. And thanks for being a good sport. And I really enjoyed it. Just it's so you know, time. too, the, the things that people have said, it's sort of gone right now, but I yeah. do get a feed later on. I will ah. get a, 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 an email okay. from a robot, and I can pass that on to you ah, nice. so you can okay. see what people were chatting yeah, and yeah, talking sure. about. 
and the stream itself will be on the Twitch website for the next five weeks. Yeah. So if you feel like it, you can watch yourself yeah. here. You well, can replay your <laughs> as, as you wish. I heard I was loud. <laughs> <laughs> but wait a minute. <laughs> That's not a criticism. It was he was just trying to get it fixed. No, no, of, no. Course, of course, of course, it's of course. Totally okay, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're out of here. I'm gonna, okay, you're going to be covered up now because we're going to yes. now go back to the outside view, and you and I are now off camera, but our mic is still live. And there we are. We're going to finish off with the outside view. The truck does come just to deliver I know, towels to the restaurant next door. Okay, thanks, gang. Thanks so much for participating. I'll see you again Thursday. And as a reminder, next Thursday stream won't be from the bench here. It's going to be a live paper making stream, not in Fukui Prefecture, like Afghanistan is thinking, oh my God, you're going to Fukui. No, we're not. We're going down the street. There's a new company with a little paper making experience here in Asakusa. It's a little bit of a kiddies thing, not, not just for kiddies. It's, a, you know, make your sheet of paper and, and take it home with you. And we're going to do that live on stream next Thursday, if we can figure out the technical uh, problems and stuff. And Ayano-san doesn't know it yet, but she's going to be the one <laughs> making the <laughs> paper. <laughs> so, thanks, guys. I am out of here, ready to shut down this stream. Three, two, one, let's go. Bye-bye for now.